CPW can handle the axisymmetric flow into a well, for example. This is a form of a three-dimensional analysis, although the mesh itself is simply drawn in two dimensions. In a case like this, what we are actually doing is analyzing the flow per unit radian. So the measure is drawn in terms of x and y. But all elements have a thickness. In all of our two-dimensional cases, plain cases, the thickness was one unit into the paper. When we do an axisymmetric analysis, the default is the analysis per unit radian one radian. Other than the fact that we are analyzing per radian or I'll show you how to do it for the entire circumferential distance and the fact that it is an axisymmetric case the, two d the definition of the problem is very very similar to a 2D plane flow case. Let's go to GeoStudio to illustrate a few of the features. Open up file SEP11 well I'm going to turn off the mesh here to begin with, it looks just like a two-dimensional problem. There are, however, two special settings. One is in the defined view. We say set, units, and scale. And it's under this global setting where we select axisymmetric. So the first thing you need to do is select axisymmetric. And once axisymmetric has been selected, all analyses in this file must be axisymmetric analysis. We cannot mix two-dimensional plane flow and axisymmetric problems in the same file. If the file is axisymmetric, then all analyses in that file must be axisymmetric. The second most important variable is under draw mesh properties and if we click on the region we can click on the elements tab and notice that we can specify the element thickness here. If it is one it means one radian We can, however, specify two pi radians. Two pi radians. So if the thickness, T, is equal to two pi, then we get the f entire flow from the entire circumferential area into the well. So it becomes important to know what has been done with specifying the thickness of the element. And when we look at the flow into the well, is it the flow per radian? Is the flow per radian, one radian? Or two pi radians. One other small point, the center of the well, so to speak, the center of the well must have an x-coordinate of zero.
stating again the central symmetric axis has to be at an x equal to 0 for an axisymmetric analysis. So, analyzing axisymmetric cases is quite straightforward. It is essentially the same as a 2D plane flow problem except for a sm few small settings and that is that we have to globally select axisymmetric and we have to be cognizant of the thickness of the element and we have to ensure that the symmetric central axis is at x equal to zero.